we have Synergy versus Lobster for the final match. It is two games apiece. This one will decide who the very, very first game will go to in the Golden League Season 1. Yeah, really exciting. <laughs> We're going to see the same strategy as she love going into the middle again to be the spotter in there. That's actually a very good point. Are we going to see she love doing the exact same thing as always, or does it actually depend on the starting positions? Yeah. Like who is closest, who does what, who will go where? But we are seeing both the T50 dash two and AMX50. Oh wait, Ooh, AMX50. all the team is coming up, but she love has been yeah. decided or been told to sit oh. back. Oh. But Rox Drag has decided that hey. We tell you you can have the hill. But yes, the backs off immediately yeah. after seeing the T16, uh, T69. 30. Sorry, that's the MX3090 and the T50-2. Uh, pretty wise. He would have been dead. Um, but yeah, she love did stop back there, and he, uh, he's, he is it's still <laughs> sitting back there. Yeah, I want to say she. Yeah, instead it is Anton Renton, who has been more effective on the the west side of the map, taking out both Chaffee and an Amex 1390 alone. But again, the same spotting positions as you can see over here. Jared is back on that corner, making sure that there is no uh, free spots coming here from Lobster. Vodax at his corner doing the exact same thing as last time. Both teams have obviously highly trained on this map. They know exactly what they're going to do. And it's all about the mistakes played and any deciding moves. Remember, when Synergy are up the north, sorry, taking the south position, they can actually move in here and poke around. They got a few cheeky shots off there, Drag did last time. And we don't see that ever from Lobsters. The Lobsters just don't do that, but Synergy have. So uh, I think Synergy have taken the biggest risks so far. Yeah, they have, because they've changed, they've actually changed their tactic quite a lot. They've been the rush in the middle of the map match uh, when they knew or thought that they could push up there. Then there's been the uh, the push on the west and in the middle at the same time. So they really changed up their tactics during the game and, and how, just to see how, how the game went and then acted accordingly. So we've seen a damping of strategies. We only saw one lineup change, but it was quickly changed back as uh, the Lobsters realized that they uh, lost badly the game they did change up their strategy and they went immediately back to the one where they did win a game and some retin over here is again probing against illusion yes and he's again in the same position so we are seeing the same general plans coming out from both teams and some retin has received a little bit of damage though this time yeah that's highly likely the, uh, the storm panther again, again poking because it was poking at she love as well but um she was she was love was uh, I want to see she. She was moving in in an unpredictable pattern. Instead of just going back and forth, back and forth, you should never do that because the artillery will just see it and then just Learn wait for you it. to come back and fire and hit you straight in the face, which is probably what has happened right now. But yeah, Jared is still on that corner. Um, Vodalak hasn't really moved up there. Uh, he's he's actually moved away and is now not able to Vodala, spot there. I like Vodala. it. <laughs> yeah, it's not up there. He's actually going down to the artillery. Are they going to push with the T2 and the T52 when they get over there? I don't know. The, it looks like that uh, we're going to see the same thing happen beforehand. Synergy's going to realize that um, there's nothing on the hill from Lobster and they will take it. They will storm it with three or four tanks. And, we're gonna, and that's why I'm watching the middle here. I'm waiting to see this happen. Yeah, look at the minimap. Yeah, both scouts are get together now, and they're pushing up because if you see two tanks, then you're going like, okay, which one should I really shoot at? Because they're just going to pop up as as the scouts down there. So um, yeah, let's see. Um, oh, they also have Sheila down there, so they might be making a push. Maybe, Maybe. depending on what's. But, it's but Synergy twice have pushed something through this area. They pushed forward with the T2 light first, or they leave their Chaffee here to defend, and then instantly behind comes two of their AMXs or the T69. And uh, I guess what they're doing is expecting something similar or provoking that play or trying to provoke that play. However, they're not biting, Synergy are not biting, and they're sending them away. Yeah, and the T2 just ran away as soon as he saw that. There was more than one pushing because well you can't take 
can't take two versus one when you're in a tier two light scout fast no HP tank and no oh, illusion yes still just probing back and forth checking if Anton Renton is still there because if he tries to go up he will get at least two to three shells in his rear or side and um, that's a lot of HP lost just to push up a little bit but there we go drag again being the one leading any risky sort of maneuver but there's nothing there the entire of the lobster troop have been a different place and well we didn't expect that but they have pushed round the back there was no scouts here for the lobsters over on the uh, east side so now they're gonna have to push they've gone sod it we're flanked let's push forward and try to do some damage however they're not getting much up here and the T69s are not performing. They're not being able to get up and not do much damage here to the Synergy guys. Illusion, yes, is still alive, which is not what was expected from Lobster. And they were just lost two of their tanks. The T2 Light has went down and Anson Wrestling has gone down already. But Jared was able to be taken out. Looking behind us, we have there the AMX uh, 1390 from Bragg uh, fighting Sheila. But we're also seeing action here from Bra, who's trying to take down Illusion Yes when he goes around the corner, but no, Illusion Yes takes him down first. And also Drag won um, his fight over there with um, She Love. Or She Love let him go. But, oh, Voldorak is actually chasing. He's not letting, yeah, not letting Drag get away. Uh, he has to let him get away now. Sadly, it could have been a great chase. But what a fantastic play there from Dark God. Got a bit ballsy, came up and did some quite a lot of damage, really. 100 damage to the T50-2. Oh, snapshot. Was that intentional? <laughs> <laughs> I think he was aiming for the T2, actually. But he does manage to take out Drag with it in his AMX-90. And he's trying to get back in the cover before the traffic turns up. Because if he gets cornered over here with no backup, he's going down. And I don't think Lobster can afford to lose him as well. But Dark God Zim goes down on his 2-2 two -two light. And we have the T-50-2 versus the Chaffee. And well, to be fair, in a fight fight, this would go badly for the T-50-2. But he has support. His teammates are there, as you just saw there. The Sun Panzer did manage to get some damage off, and the T50 did. Oh, the ammo oh. rack is damaged on the T50-2, but is the Chaffee turret damaged? No, but the T50-2's turret is. <laughs> it should have been. But a he's crippled. He's not actually turning around. So I guess the track it was damaged on the Chaffee, but he's trying to get away. It's 122 damage, damage. Another shot there, and he's going down. Will he be able to get out? And the answer is yes. No. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I honestly god thought that guy went down but no so I got away but no he was taken down orange managed to get him and that does spell the doom for lobster they're now down to she love but that was incredibly close the chaffy there almost doing it but she love could take the both of these out stop it aim stop shoot, shoot. oh no, no, no. one too late, too, too late. late yeah way too late sadly he could have she love could have if she loves first shot had gone through yeah. and taken out illusion yes yeah. taking a bit more time to take out uh Bovlacel, and that would have been the chaffee left and she love could have done it but unfortunately yeah. lost all of the hp down to 48 hp after doing one shot basically yeah uh, that could have turned the entire thing around could that have gone great. that entire the opportunity lost the opportunity lost it's a great game absolutely fantastic yeah. game but i just it's still winnable. She Love still could do it. Yeah. The oh. Chaffee's badly damaged, so is the AMX 5100. Yeah, the 5100 has to get shot twice from the AMX 1390. But that is entirely possible if he gets the drop on them. Yeah, it is, but... Whoa! Oh. Another skim from the top. She Love's expert dodging managed to get round the cover. The corner, but Povato is known and very aware that She Love can take him down if he's very unlucky. Much bigger target, but not really the HP. Oh, oh waiting for her. But knew the roots. She Love goes right into the trap, and we see Synergy take game one. Bang. Uh, yeah. Great game. Let's Great have a look at the stats quickly yeah. there. Whoop. Change the <laughs> <laughs> yeah, organized by best. But there's the T50-2 driven by Verdalek. Yeah. <laughs> Dalek. And uh, a thousand damage done. Half the shots hit. Pretty good considering the driving. tense situation. He was driving while shooting. Yeah, all of that was driven by shooting. Anton Wrestling was t uh, focused down really early. Yeah. Being a powerhouse of lobster throughout the early games. They took him down knowing that, well, pff, that's a big threat there. We need to make sure that that goes down. 
Then we have here the T69s, both mediocre damage. Again, really, as Not you said. Not a lot of shooting. Not a lot of shooting. They came to the top of the hill and they were trying to aim, didn't really do much, panicked? I don't know. Yeah, just aimed. Yeah, <laughs> just aimed. a lot of time to aim before firing. But the Chaffee and the AMX 5100, C69 and the T2 Lite. Now, that's the awesome thing we saw here that I didn't expect to see. The Chaffee there did absolutely fantastic. And I was like, why would you pick a Chaffee? But <laughs> Why do you, what do I know? Why would you pick a Chaffee? Because Chaffee's kick ass. And the rapid fire damage, combined with the light armor, and the accuracy firing on the move, that's the thing I don't think I registered. Nope. It was firing on the move quite reliably, where obviously the AMX can't do that. Where the VK's role was to counter the AMX's, we had such a similar situation going on with the Chaffee. So are we going to see a rise in Chaffee? Maybe. <laughs> Could be. It's Could the first, be. first set of the first season. Chaffee proving its worth. Proving its worth. Chaffee invades the scene. I can see the headlines now. Yeah, VK. No more. VK. Chaffee. Welcome. <laughs> yeah. I, I still would take a VK to a Chaffee fight. Of course you would. You own it. Two, don't have a Chaffee. Two, two, one to two <laughs> shots. Two to one shots. Yeah, we, we had some of the uh, the matches against each other where you went, Yeah, I'm in the VK. I You're proved the, the worth. Prove the worth of VK that night in your head. You're like, VK's useless. Boom. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. VK's good. I like the VK. It's a very good tag. And I want to see... I want to make sure that it hasn't been nerfed to oblivion. I really want to see some of the tanks or some of the teams use them. So, yeah. We're going to take a quick break uh, before to get more water and to get the next game set up. And the next game is... Aces versus Aces SJ. It was meant to start 20 minutes ago, but, you know, first day... First day on the job, yeah. So don't go anywhere. We'll be back very soon with Aces versus SJ. Yeah. 